Chemical Kinetics, Part 7, Catalysis. From this video, you'll be able to understand the effect that catalysts have on the speed of a chemical reaction. You'll see examples of catalysts from industry and from nature, and you'll spot catalysts in a reaction mechanism. As discussed thoroughly in the last video, increasing the temperature of a reaction will speed it up. But sometimes it's not feasible or even safe to conduct the reaction at a higher temperature, so a catalyst is used instead. Almost all industrial chemical reaction processes are conducted using catalysts. A catalyst is a substance that's present in a reaction, but not changed overall, so it doesn't really count as a reactant or a product. Catalysts speed up chemical reactions by providing a new mechanism pathway with a transition state that has a lower activation energy than the uncatalyzed transition state. Since the activation energy is decreased, more molecules at the same temperature would have sufficient energy to form products. In biological systems, catalysts are called enzymes. Two classifications of catalysts are homogeneous and heterogeneous, depending on the state of the reactants and the catalyst. A homogeneous catalyst is in the same state as the reactants. For example, gaseous nitric oxide in the upper atmosphere speeds up the breakdown of gaseous ozone molecules. A heterogeneous catalyst is in a different state than the reactants. Typical heterogeneous catalysts are solid transition metal oxides, palladium or platinum, to which gas molecules affix themselves during the reaction process. In the commercial production of ammonia, for example, the Haber process, it uses an iron and iron oxide solid catalyst to speed up the reaction between the gaseous hydrogen and oxygen. At the top here is a two-step mechanism for nitric oxide catalyzed ozone depletion. Nitric oxide, shown in red, reacts with ozone to produce nitrogen dioxide and oxygen. The nitrogen dioxide, an intermediate in this process, reacts with free oxygen atoms to reform nitric oxide molecule, along with more diatomic oxygen. Since nitric oxide was consumed in one step and produced again in a later step, and does not appear in the overall balanced equation, we see that it is a catalyst from this mechanism. In the bottom mechanism, CFCs, chlorofluorocarbons, they used to be used as propellants for aerosol cans, but they're banned because they reacted with sunlight and produced free chlorine atoms in the upper atmosphere. Those free chlorine atoms uh, catalyzed ozone depletion. In this mechanism, the chlorine atom, shown in red, is used up first and then produced, but it doesn't appear in the overall reaction. The chlorine atom in this mechanism is the catalyst. I hope you've learned something in this look at catalysts, along with our look at chemical kinetics. If you have difficulty with this topic, refer to the appropriate pages in your textbook or watch this video again. You can also leave a note in the comments. Thank you.